What's up everybody? I am back out in my yard today. I'm gonna be doing a little sedge hammer uh, for my nut sedge. It's a problem I've been wanting to work on uh, for a little bit now. And we're gonna try sedge hammer, see how it works. Uh, my last video, I sprayed some dethatch and uh, you can tell, I, I mean, it looks a little better. I've got some fungus still that I'm working with, so that's probably leaving some brown, but there's my, there's my nut sedge that I really wanna take care of. It's not so bad in this front part. I'm just over here somewhere. There's a spot that's just overrun. It's uh, it's crazy. So, um, read the instructions. It says mow uh, or don't spray for two days after a mow. I mowed on Sunday. It's Thursday, and then don't mow for two more days. So that part's gonna kill me because that'll be. I'm gonna leave it Friday and Saturday. Probably mow Sunday or Monday. So I'm gonna go almost a week. Uh, we've had a lot of rain i watered today so it's gonna get thick but it'll be fine we'll uh we'll take care of it but i got the uh sedge hammer plus here and the plus just means it's got the uh, surfactant so i'll have anything and then i like to use this one it's a little roundup bottle and one gallon it's perfect because basically this is makes one gallon as it says right there so that's uh that's kind of nice and easy I've read all the stuff, it just says make sure you wear long sleeves, uh, long pants, socks, shoes, stuff like that. Because, um, you know, just like most stuff, you don't really want to touch it. Uh, also says make sure it doesn't rain for four hours. It's like a 10% chance today. There's nothing on my forecast for a while. So, uh, this morning seems like a good morning. was going to spray it yesterday. It was supposed to rain about noon. I didn't get out here in time. Uh, had daddy duty. So, you know, I've got to uh, fill the water, try to do a little video spraying maybe do a little update it says you know stuff slow acting so it could be a week or two um and i'm just getting started making videos i really don't know what i'm doing uh but i just you know i follow the diy stuff and sometimes it just helps to watch an idiot like me uh do stuff so i'm gonna go put some water we'll fill it up shake it up do all that good stuff well, i got a little bit of water in there and i'm holding this in my hand so the camera angle is not perfect i apologize uh, yeah, this isn't gonna work. Stupid old me almost went for the front teeth tear. That would have been real smart, but there you go. Just gonna add that on in there. Oh, yeah. She's a beauty, Clark. And then I'm gonna have to try to fill this up. You know, watch my one gallon mark. Making too many bubbles. Settle down now. I think that'll be good. All right. She's ready to go. It says you don't have to douse this stuff. You just want to, I guess, kind of hit it. I got a, uh, it's got three settings. It's got cone, stream, and fan. Fan is just too wide for what I want to do. And then the stream was just kind of too powerful for what I wanted to do. So the cone, I feel like, is just getting it, staying on top of it, and spraying it. Uh, let's see here. There's some right there. So you see, I just, I don't know, I feel like it gets, it's a good area around it. So, ooh, there's some. Yeah, get wet, boys. Kind of like hit and quit it, you know? Uh, maybe not. Oh. So, man, you just get down in here and you start seeing more and more. Yeah, hopefully this will work. We'll find out. Maybe you got brown spots in my yard or dead nuts edge, which is what I want. We'll see. Yeah. So like I say, spot spraying. I see it. I could have gone with the blue dye, so I make sure I'm getting everything, but I think I'm gonna be out here long enough that I'll I'll end up getting everything. 
So it's got a surfactant in it. That's what the plus is. And I'm trying to see. Anyways, that's my journey. Give a little, give a little update at the end. I'm focus so I can ah, get back inside before it gets 150 degrees. On. So I am done spraying the sledgehammer. Uh, fun little thing happened as I was halfway. I didn't realize I was, as I was pumping, I left the handle up, and eventually I just came undone or something. I mean, it's a cheap, cheap pump sprayer, so one of those. What do you expect? So. Had to switch um, pump sprayers half every three, which was fun. Um, just to give you a little overview of my yard, I've got this section here. This just stays wet. Uh, my yard's pretty much St. Augustine. I'm getting some Bermuda coming in, um, but I'm looking at maybe a French drain later on because I just got water at <laughs> domination. Um, but I just got water that just constantly just sits right here on the surface it could be from the ac but i'd really love to put a french drain and take the water somewhere else because uh, as it's staying i'm getting bermuda in and stuff um, but this is the front uh i got some bushes and look if anybody's watching this I, I think my last video had like four views but if anybody's watching this and has any tips i'm uh i'm welcome to them so I'll take you over here so I got a long stretch. Um, I keep my blade sharpened. I have a uh, John Deere riding mower that I get on, and I cut the, uh, this section. I use my push mower for the wet area because I was noticing as I was riding, I was absolutely tearing up the grass. So pulled out the push mower, serviced it, got it going, and fine. So anyways, this is the front yard. I got about 5,000 square feet. It's about 2,500 on uh, front and back so got this area that needs some work it's got some crabgrass uh, that's pretty much taken over which once that happens yeah I'm pretty much done but I'm hoping as the St. Augustine grows it'll grow this section back here is my Pro Vista I did all this myself earlier this year because um, it was just overrun with weeds and wild Bermuda before obviously I've got some fungus chinch bugs something going on here i've obviously got some weeds that i need to get after um it's it's hot man and it's starting to uh, to show itself um it's you know this is supposed to be glyphosate tolerant so i just need to get out here and spray and, and see what it has but um i'll show you a section over here in a second but yeah you can just see the brown in it uh, that i am fighting now uh but from what it was before looks a lot better now um, so this is going to be the weird part is now we get back to St. Augustine. Um, basically I had this section that I'm trying to save. My backyard is kind of my experimental lawn. I do everything back here. Um, like you see, it's just, oh, but then Pro Vista and it's nice. I think maybe a little more shade, but like you see, I still got some brown going on. A uh, little, little bush over there, some bushes here. Uh, and then... <laughs> So here's where the weeds come back in. So this is what that side over there looked like uh, before. And then I laid some Pro Vista up along the house. And this actually stays pretty nice. Um, maybe it's because I don't cut it as much. I, I don't know. And then this back here uh, is just a disaster. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, so basically my story is I wanted to sod the whole yard. And then COVID-19 hit uh, and just financial security. Grass didn't sound like uh, the best idea at the time because basically what I was going to do was order that one week, lay it, kill this off, next paycheck, do this. Um, but, you know, that that happens, so we adjust. So basically I'm just trying to get it maybe to, to run and take over the yard, uh, but I'm not quite having luck yet. Really, three, four more pallets. I could do the whole yard, backyard and Pro Vista, which is what I would like 
Um, this St. Augustine, it's really nice. I may just end up sectioning it off like here and do the rest. I got some kids looking at me back there. Uh, they want to be on YouTube, I guess. She has her own channel, my kid. We like to do Disney stuff. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, that's uh, that's my yard in a nutshell. Like I said, I'm open to any advice. Um, I pretty much watch the lawn care yacht. I have the warm season guide. Uh, I try to follow that as, as best I can. Um, I try to do the DIY stuff, big box stuff, Malorganite. I do have the Biostem pack. You see me put down the dethatch. Uh, but it's a learning process, you know. Some people, they just have a gift and two, three, you know, months, their yard is good. I mean, my, my yard is looking good. I'm not, I'm not saying the program's not working by any stretch of the imagination. It's just finding my footing, uh, really, um, you know, getting it to, to look all like this. Uh, you know, so that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, comment, subscribe. I'll try to put more videos. Um, I'm a DIYer, much like YouTube, but I'm an idiot DIYer. I screw up. I break stuff while I'm while I'm doing this. You know, it's just it's fun. I do it for laughs and to make my yard green and dominate, and hopefully win yard of the month. You can't see it, but that yard right there in the corner one yard of the month and I have to drive by that sign every freaking day and I'm not happy about it because I know how much time I spend out in my yard so anyways that's it for now hope you enjoyed uh yeah so that's it take care